Hi, welcome back. I'm Kathy, and if you're new to my channel, I do food and product reviews, and today I am excited about this one. It's the Pillsbury Heat and Eat Fudge Filled Brownie and Cinnamon Roll. Yum. If you watch the channel at all, you know I love, love cinnamon. So these you just heat up 30 seconds, and you're good. I do like these. I do like things when they're individual portions like this, so I don't like, you know, eat them all because I make like cinnamon rolls. It can be very, very bad. So I love this idea. All right. Cute. You're cute. Remove brownie from wrapper before microwaving. Place on microwave safe place. Microwave on high. So that was me 30 seconds, but ready in less than 30 seconds. My microwave probably about 20, 20 seconds. Here's, it has individual packs of icing. So this is like fudge, I believe. So it's actually bigger than I thought. So it looks like a yummy, yummy brownie. Right, let's see what these look like. I thought the price was a little high, they're four forty-seven. I got it at Walmart. So that breaks down to about a dollar twelve each. So I guess look at it that way, it's not it's not terrible, especially if it keeps me from overeating. So cute. Like little pieces of a cinnamon roll. Look at that, cute. So it's just the same time. This one's like 22 seconds, and this one's like 20 seconds. So the icing, oh, icing's a little different. It's like, it's like the um, toaster strudel. Right. So I am going to microwave these and I will be right back. Okay, they smell amazing. I'm gonna take them out of the wrapper maybe. Oh, see the chocolate is kind of coming out so I'm just gonna leave it on the paper. And then the cinnamon, Ooh. So I'm going to put on the topping, the chocolate. Make a little smaller. This is thick. Jeez. Ah. It's a lot. <clears throat> Especially with the fudge in the middle too. Ooh, rich. Hope you're familiar with the toaster strudel. And I ripped this too big too. Ah. Smell amazing. Very excited. In case you don't want to know, um, turn away now because here are the calories. And I really don't want to know. So, anyway, if you want to know, there they are. Oops, it's very chocolatey. You see all the fudge in the middle? Very good, very good. Me personally, I would like it without the fudge in the middle. I would just prefer it on top, but it is, um, it is really good, I'm not gonna lie. It's nice and moist. Mm -hmm. It is sweet, but not, it's not like overly sweet, which I thought with all that fudge in there it would be, but it's not. So yeah, this one's very good. I highly recommend this one. And this one, my favorite. Let's see this. The cinnamon. It smells like a Cinnabon in here. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. I actually want to heat this one up a little bit more. I need to see something. Okay, so I heat it up a little more because the pieces seemed a little hard, so I wanted to see if maybe I just didn't heat it up enough. Mm, look at all that. Uh. Oh, hot, hot. Um, hmm. And here are the calories for this one. 
not as bad. It's good, but it's not as good as like the canned cinnamon rolls. It, because these are like the individual pieces, it seems like they're a little drier. Don't get me wrong, it's good, but let's see that. It doesn't, it's not as like soft, I guess, as like the canned cinnamon rolls. I really wanted this to be better. I think I like the chocolate one better. See, like I said the other day, my expectations were up here. They should have been down here. Um, I probably would have liked it better, but I went in with such high hopes. I think I would just get the smallest can of cinnamon rolls if I wanted a cinnamon roll. So this just, it's good, but it just, and the cinnamon flavor, love the cinnamon, love the icing. It's just the, uh, the roll itself, it seems, let's see this. It just seems a little dry. Let me just go back to this one and see. I forgot what it tastes like. Though. Yeah, crazy. I thought for sure I would like this one more, but I like this one more. And this one put a scoop of ice cream on top. Yum. Yum. So yeah, it's funny. Thought for sure it would be this one. This one. This one's the winner. A little more moist it would it would probably be a winner because like I said everything else is good the cinnamon's good I like the icing it's all delicious it's just I think instead of them having the the pieces like that I think it would be better if it was just a roll I think that would be better but Pillsbury did not ask me so so if you want to give them a try I found these at Walmart. I've looked at Publix. I haven't looked at Kroger yet, but um, these are at Walmart for $47. Okay, like I said, I really like how they're, they're individually wrapped. I think that's great. So you don't have to make a whole box of brownies and you know eat them all or make a whole can of cinnamon rolls. Um, yes, it's more expensive this way because it ends up being $1.12 a piece. You can make a whole box of brownies. I know like from Aldi, you definitely could for $1.12. So. So if you have no control, like myself, um, these are a good option, I think. So if you try them, let me know in the comments below. Time for the riddle of the day. You all are getting very good at these. I am an odd number. Take away a letter and I become even. What number am I? Let me know in the comments below. If you like the video, hit that thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, please think about hitting that red subscribe and the bell for notifications. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. Stay safe. And I will see you next time. Bye.